measles and rubella are virus caused infections these are uh, highly infectious and contagious and although measles and rubella have been eliminated from the united states Measles is still endemic in many countries. In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, there have been decline in the global immunization coverage that has led to immense resurgence of this vaccine preventable diseases, including measles, rubella and mumps. So as long as measles and rubella are circulating anywhere, they are a threat everywhere because these viruses can easily be imported by international travel. Because measles, especially, but also rubella, move so quickly, we need to be able to identify new cases and new outbreaks everywhere as soon as possible. So through the work of CDC, we support laboratories all over the world in performing those diagnostics. Currently, CDC is supplying reagents to laboratories through the International Reagent Resource in about 120 countries. Laboratory reagents are used to conduct the testing to confirm infections of measles and rubella. Since the introduction of the International Reagent Resource, reagent stockouts in low-income countries have become much less frequent. And our colleagues in the World Health Organization have called the International Reagent Resource a game changer. Since 2022, uh, we have trained 230 laboratory workers from 60 countries in 18 workshops on how to perform the laboratory methods for detection of measles and rubella cases and laboratory methods for monitoring the variants circulating in the country. Those laboratories we've trained um, experience faster turnaround time for their measles detection confirmation, uh, and they're able to expand their laboratory capacity by learning new techniques. Also, we built something as a new initiative called the Train the Trainers. We have invited senior scientists from the World Health Organization's Global Measles and Rubella Laboratory Network to receive intensive training on, on how to perform the laboratory techniques, but also how to train others to perform these laboratory techniques. And that way they encompass and strengthen their laboratory testing capacity. And this would enhance public health surveillance and elimination efforts towards eradicating or eliminating measles and rubella. In order for progress to continue to be made, we need to continue these activities. The more we strengthen the ability of the laboratories, the faster countries around the world can respond to the outbreaks and reduce the number of cases. Improved vaccination efforts, coupled with robust epidemiological and laboratory surveillance systems, will definitely pave the way to eliminate measles and rubella across this globe.